Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll check out the equalizer settings on Pioneer's DEHX 6700 BS. So from any source, like the AM FM radio source, let's press in on the volume control and we want to scroll along until we find the audio menu. Here's the audio menu and we're going to roll along here until we find the EQ settings and let's press enter there. The first thing we'll see here is a number of equalizer curves, uh, factory preset curves. So this is the flat curve, the super bass curve, powerful curve, uh, natural curve, and the vocal curve. So you can just pick one of these, maybe the powerful curve for example, and press enter and that curve will be set into your EQ and it will change the way things sound in your car. If you don't like exactly the way that is, let's make some custom settings. I'm going to press in uh, on the volume control again and roll along now until we find custom number one. Custom EQ setting number one is an independent EQ setting for the CD player, for the AM FM radio, uh, for the auxiliary, and for anything that is plugged into USB. So it's a custom setting for each one of those sources. So let's make some custom settings. Press in on the volume control. And here is our five band EQ. We can make an adjustment. First we can choose a frequency band, like for example 80 Hz, and press in on the volume control. And now we can boost up 80 Hz or cut that back. Press in again and move to another frequency, for example uh, 2.5K. Press in again and we will cut that one back a little bit. So once you've made the adjustments to your custom EQ for each individual source that you like, uh, you can press the band button to escape or you can just press the uh, uh, go back button and we can roll over to the next setting which is our custom number two curve and the custom number two curve is a shared EQ setting across all sources and the same thing that we did for custom one we can do for custom two press enter and we can make an adjustment uh, here at uh, we'll say 800 Hertz we'll boost 800 Hertz up a little press in on the volume control go back to 250 and we will cut that one down a little. Uh, whoop, I boosted that up. Let's cut it down this way. There we go. All right, so once you've made those adjustments at any time, you can exit the EQ settings by pressing the band button to escape.